but I'm from Iowa, and the pork industry is very important in Iowa, as it is in many, many states around the country. Uh, but on page three of your testimony, uh, and you did mention this uh, in your or oral testimony, but you state that there's no evidence to suggest this virus has been found in swine in the United States, and there have been no illnesses attributed to handling or consuming pork. Currently, there is no evidence that one can get this novel H1N1 influenza from eating pork or pork products, and you mentioned that we should always cook pork products to 160 degrees Fahrenheit just in case. Can you be, um, I know this is, you may not be able to answer this question affirmatively, but, but can you be uh, less equivocal and state that um, one may not get this influenza from pork products? Because you know, th this language, I understand why you use this language. There's no evidence currently right now that anyone's gotten the, you know, the influence of from pork. But can we go further than that and state that there, there's no way, if you will, that anyone can get this influenza from pork products? Yeah. People don't need to be worried about eating pork in terms of this particular virus. Um, influenza viruses can affect swine. They can become, swine can become ill from influenza viruses. But Everything we know about what's going on right now suggests you don't need to worry about pork in terms of eating that or um, that we're handling it. Thank you for going that far. I appreciate that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you getting the word out then about about this and uh, how it is the case that that really it's not possible to get this from pork? How is the CDC getting the word out? You know, we've placed communication as, as our highest priority, really, in this response, because information and misinformation are, are important in how the public reacts and the unintended consequences. In terms of the pork issue, we've been working with um, both USDA and um, pork, the Pork Board and, and other um, business concerns to understand what we can do to clarify the issue. You know, here in the U.S., it's an issue. In, in other countries, it's an issue as well. We're really trying to be sensitive to both the cultural and economic impacts of our words. Right. Thank you. I think it's very, for the record, I want to say I think it's very unfortunate that China and a number of other countries have banned pork imports from Iowa and other, other parts of the United States. It's very unfortunate. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mozaleski, uh, have you or have any of you seen any um, who might, might, might uh, Mr. O'Connell in particular, have you seen any cafeterias, school cafeterias banning pork products as a result of this? We're not aware of any, sir. Okay, good. No, okay. Good. Thank you.